Welcome to my face. I'm James A. James, and this is Transformation. The Transformation Gods are smiling down on us today. We have with us the glorious Bianca Del Rio. Honey, I'm so excited to have you here. I'm excited to be here. I heard that you had the option of having me or Magnolia Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was in New Orleans in 2007 or 2008, yeah. and you were the MC of the Mardi Gras yes. that, see, that year. I do that. Everywhere I went, I mean, every bar out on the street, people would shout me, have you met our Bianca? <laughs> have you seen well, Bianca? I'm, I'm a whore, so I get around. <laughs> I was going to say hometown hero. Well, that too. That too. <laughs> it's Sunday morning, it is yes. like 10 o'clock in the morning, and we would never be doing it at this hour, but I figured that if I didn't get you now, we wouldn't get you till like 2028. 20, you know, my uncle said the same thing. <laughs> Gross, <laughs> kinky. Tell me how your life has changed. It's been great, you know, you get to work, you get to travel, you get to meet tons of people. Back in the day, I didn't. we didn't have Twitter or Facebook, you know what it was like. So it's like amazing to see all these people that watch the show and that are into it that you have no idea. That normally you'd have to go to a bar to find a drag queen, so it's just been amazing to be on this platform and have all these people interested in you. I didn't plan this far, and I'm looking forward to what's to come, you know? So there, there's no Bianca Jean line <laughs> in the no. part? No, I mean, I'm gonna do a show. I'm writing my own show, and there's a movie that a friend of mine and oh, I are gonna uh, make, Hurting Bianca. Bianca. I will not put out any music, so do not be alarmed. <laughs> I will be that one drag race girl without a fucking album. <laughs> you um, uh, are an insult comic by trade. Yeah. Is there anger? Are there de <laughs> hidden? Are there anger issues? Well, no, I just think that, you know, if you stuck your dick in pantyhose, you would feel the same way. It's just, you know, this bitterness from within in. But I also think that it's kind of like the Greek chorus. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. But there's no malice behind no. it. Oh, God, no, 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 no. I mean, if it's funny, it's funny to me. You know, even if it's at my expense or anyone's expense, you know, go for the joke. I hear a lot of bunny in there. Oh, God. I hear a lot of Michael Musto. Are you friends oh, yeah. with Musto? Yes, Michael's a hoot. You know, because Michael has that same thing that you do hey. where <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, you fuck up and it's like 10 years later and you're still <laughs> hammering home. You know, it's like, that. okay, Beyonce, <laughs> I got that it. is so musto right there. And I'm worried today that I'm going to say something idiotic. And no, you're just, there's no. nothing you can do that'd be offensive other than this blouse. <laughs> <laughs> It's a look. People are like, well, you're showing a softer side. I'm like, well, cameras are not usually following me throughout the day. And what you see on YouTube or videos are all things that I've put out there. You know, this is what I've done for a very long time, but that's my act, that's my show. So when you're judged by that, it's one thing, but, you know, to see you in real life, I can't act like an asshole all the time. Right. I mean, just for you today. <laughs> you have a very specific look. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what it is to get to it. Okay. Because um, it seems to me like it's 40 pairs of eyelashes <laughs> And some white paint. There like, you are. You've got <laughs> and me there we go. Out. There you are. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Yay. Yay. Okay, we're gonna start. Uh, I do it backwards. I've seen some of the transformations, and I know everybody does their eyes first, and then they do base. I do it the other way. I start with with base and go that way. Is that cool with you? That's fine. You can handle it. Okay, Whatever good. You want, baby. Okay. And you just use an old-fashioned pan stick. That's it, sister. Prylon. Yeah. Uh huh. White people color. Now, do you think that you were lucky this season in that um, a lot of the challenges were things that that you could do? Well, I think that to start out with, if you can't sing, dance, act, so, or do comedy, then you shouldn't do the show. You know, I always say, never let a bitch see you sweat. I wasn't gonna go that, oh, I don't know how to dance. No, it's like you just do what you gotta do, take the part in the back, and you roll with it, <laughs> exactly. But I think that when they stand there and they go, I don't know how to sew, I don't know, I didn't know this was happening. <laughs> Season six, really, bitch? To me, it looks like, you know, you each get those little tiny, little yeah. closet things. And then all of a sudden, you see these huge things <laughs> pop out that you've never seen before. Come TD. But you all have like like rooms with like other stuff in it. And no, it's all there in the workroom. Everything is there. Yeah. Really? Yeah, and you're only you're allowed a limited amount of luggage. You can't bring 16 bags. You're only allowed five bags. Really? So all of that has to come well, out of five how bags. How did Courtney get that bird thing? One should ask. Look, she had a lot of space. What, nine bikinis and some wings? <laughs> Let's be honest, come on. I'm gonna do liquid liner. Now shut your eye, and this is the one time you, you, you I, can't I move. I won't move. So while I've got you quiet, who is your favorite this season? <laughs> Keep them shut. Okay, I already opened them, sorry. Of course you did, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, look what you did. Did I? Oh, you no. ruined it! Now, when was the first time you did drag? Uh, well, I did, I did makeup and wigs and stuff for theater for a couple of years before I actually did drag. But I started drag when I was 20. It was uh, just like, I'm gonna play this part on stage. Right, right. Huh. And then of course, then it led to, hey, this is kind of fun. Hey, I'm making money. <laughs> I'm gonna go to a club. I'm gonna go walk the street. Hey, this <laughs> is theaters. I did it uh, at a bar in New Orleans for uh, five days a week for 10 years. Really? Yes. Wow. Well, you know, bars in New Orleans, they're open 24 seven and they never close. And 
their standards are pretty low, so I had a very <laughs> successful career there. You came to New York like, after Katrina? Yes, I came, back af I came after Katrina. I mean, I had nothing horrible and tragic that happened. I just... Wait, uh, do I, I have a friend who had a, a horrible, tragic thing happen. Do you want me oh, to tell great. You? Well, that's really uplifting. He was working at a funeral parlor, oh, and um, when the floods came... No. Yeah, listen, no. they had to get on caskets that were that had corpses in it and float down to safety. They had to float on the caskets with the bodies in it. Okay, really uplifting. <laughs> Let's hope that part gets edited out. And how fast can you beat a face? How, can you... Ah, well, girl, I've done a 45-minute face. Not the prettiest. But if I could do a photo shoot or something, you know, I might take my time and act like a rich white woman and, you know, feel the fantasy. Like you. I know, I'm feeling the fantasy right now. Is that what you're feeling? Uh -huh. <laughs> a little gas, too. I was going to say, that's what I'm smelling. <laughs> you're one of five children? Yes, I'm the fourth. I'm the oldest boy. Oh, okay. Making my father really proud right now. <laughs> and that's probably it too, where you have to be the loudest to getting sure. attention. Because you know, growing up, they, they didn't know what to do with you. You know, they just go, oh my God, this child is different. Not so much gay, just different. For me, it was great training, because then you just go and you find your way and you do your thing, so I have no regrets. This is the magical white. Ah. Which is, you know, either people love it or they hate it. Kind of like I me. I love that. No, I think uh, uh, you you are very, you're a handsome woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing at handsome, I'm laughing at woman, uh, but that's good. No, no, that's no. good. You're a handsome man too, but for <laughs> women who don't have that innate, delicate beauty. Oh, there's nothing soft yeah, about me. Exactly. Nothing. If you have big features and big man features. You gotta add more. You gotta be big. Well, and I think that's the thing, is that people, you know, with drag, everybody does drag for different reasons. and. You know, you put people together. If you look at someone like Courtney Act and myself or Jocelyn Fox, those are pretty girls. Yeah, you know, they're, they're pretty. They, they don't need. They don't need no. forty pairs of lashes. No, and that and what they do, they do well. But it's not what I want to do. You know, if I wear just a little bit of lip gloss, I was going to say, like, if, yeah, if you do the Courtney Act, no, no, I want to look like some Middle Eastern woman at the airport. It's not really a good look. <laughs> I'm sort of the same way where I can carry a big look. Yeah, I can. I can wear you know the, these big outrageous things and stuff. Whereas like Jocelyn can't. No, no, you know she, well, she's. A bikini girl. You know, she, <laughs> exactly. She's got a bikini and a dream. She was very sweet and I enjoyed, you know, getting to talk with her. And she came to me one day where we're sitting uh, in a few times we can talk with one another. And she says, how are you so smart? <laughs> I said, oh, you poor little simple bitch. But I gave her a list of movies to watch. I said, you need to see All About Eve, you need to see Auntie Mame, you need to see Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. And then recently she sent me a text going, she's halfway through the list. There's so many of the kids today that you do that and they, they're like, I, they don't I don't need that. They don't watch I Black know and Beyonce. White. Mm -hmm. Look where it gets them. Oh. Bottom two. Okay. Here we go. Can you hold this? Back to blending. Now you're behaving. <laughs> I know, I just I sort of fell asleep for a second. <laughs> Did your pills kick in? <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, she's not moving. <laughs> well, the good thing is that if she's dead, her makeup's already done. Uh, they go to identify the body, and my mother is like, <laughs> that's not my son. That's Bianca Del Rio. You had a senior moment? Just stick a little nap, <laughs> darling. <laughs> I just, I felt the rhythm of the, the, on my face and it was just like, that's just lovely. <laughs> One of the reasons I ended up doing Drag Race is when I was in New York, I would host the premiere and host the finales. And I was backstage and two people that shall remain nameless and uh, were being douchey backstage. And they made a comment like, well, what is she doing here? She's never been on the show, who is she? And then my response was, well, the reason why I'm here is because you fucking bitches don't know how to talk. And it was just in my brain, I went, fuck these hookers. And I thought, why not? Take a chance they and do it. They actually were yes. nasty. Have you met them? And so you went on to show them a thing or two well, no, about, then I auditioned. How, about how, a, how a queen should be. Well, not necessarily. I mean, we all have a different path, but I think that, you know, work-wise, it's not a good idea to be a douche to people because, you know, you're not doing anything great for the world. You just, you know, you're a drag queen and be grateful that you have this opportunity. Oh, you can't, you can't use this, but it's funny. This time I'm on the phone with her, and we're talking, and we're talking, and we're talking. And then she's like, all right, girl, I gotta go. I have a customer. And I'm like, the thought of who wants to get their dick sucked by Bunny, I just can't imagine. That's our gift. That's right that's there. It. Who wants to get their dick sucked by Bunny? Just on a loop, over and over. <laughs> she's gonna kill me. Faye, were you talking about me on that makeup show? I do my favorite thing she does to me, and I say this all the time, is that like if I put on Facebook, flying to Pomona tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. 
In the morning, while I'm at the airport putting things through the machine, my phone will ring. And she goes, hey, girl, it's Bun Bun. I just want to let you know your plane's going to crash. <laughs> Click. And it hangs up. Oh, you're putting them under the, the yes. white. Yes. I and do. How much white do you, I mean, how big is that line? Really? It varies. I mean, I like it to open up my eye. I, I, you know, when I put all that black in my eye, it's not really good. But I use top lashes as a bottom lash because I'm a rebel. Let's look at these lashes for a yes. second. This is how many pairs? I do four to five pair it on is the top. Four. I do a combo. I do three 301s and two 62s. I don't put a lash like right here. I stack mine a little higher because if you do like this, you look like Snuffleupagus from Sesame Street. It just kind of weighs you down. So I like to perch it up and out. Am I Bianca? Almost. Does it feel like you have a stroke? That means it's right. <laughs> now we're gonna do lips. Give me a give me a smile. There we go. But you were saying that at this club that it was all young kids and yep. six months ago they didn't know who you were. No. And now you are a golden god. Right, it's kind of crazy. It fucks with your head. I mean, I'm beyond grateful. And the great thing is when you're there, you do get to meet them and you do have a moment. But it's just, it's that that fanness that you're like, it's okay, we can have a conversation. And look, I'm all about, well, let's talk, but no need to get so excited. You know, it's, it's. <clears throat> well, I know you're excited when you're near me, but. Uh -huh. yeah. But you're more than just a man in a wig. You are influencing these kids. You are showing them what the different possibilities of, of drag and, and gender or identity and all this stuff is. So for you to try and engage them. <laughs> well, I just go, it's, okay, it's nice. Yeah. You know, and you have that moment, <laughs> but then you realize it might be a little too much for them. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. Gotcha. No. Good advice. Who mm -hmm. knew? And here I thought you were useless. Subtle. I'm actually, I'm, I'm pretty, aren't I? Yes, you are. I'm gonna go change, and then you're gonna do my wig, and then I'll put on my dress, and then we'll have our transformation! Yay! Oh my God! <laughs>